Good morning, brothers and sisters. On a rainy Tuesday morning, we today celebrate the feast day of St. John, the Apostle and Evangelist. We shall now pray for the following intentions. We pray for the healing and recovery, safe recovery of Meg Barlan, Sebastian Cole, Norman Lansberg, Patrick Park, Daisy Hernandez. We also pray for uh, Salvador Magaña Alcazar. We pray for those who are dying right this very second and those who will die tonight. We pray for all who are so prematurely. We continue to pray for the healing of those with cancer, for those undergoing depression, those with COVID. Uh, we also pray for the soul of Betty Arabia Bayona and uh, all our loved ones who have gone before us. Let me see. I think yeah, we have an intention for the soul of Bob Pistoli and for, um, and especially we'd like to pray for the well being of. Ray and Kelly Holmes and her children and her entire family. Let's worship Jesus before the Blessed Supper. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed, Blessed be his, his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus be Christ, Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. <coughs> Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed, Blessed be the Holy Spirit in Paraguay. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed, Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. Holy God, we praise Thy name. Yeah. 
Let us honor our mother, the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Be holy and of the Lord. Be done unto thee according to thy word. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. The wit of the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it so was in the beginning, is, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Our Lady Perpetual. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. For the times that we have not loved God and our neighbor the way the Lord wants us to, or the Lord is trying to teach us how to do it, let us ask the Lord's forgiveness for the many times that we have failed Him, failed God, ourselves, and one another. We say, I confess, confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God. God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's give glory to God. Glory to God. In, in the highest, highest and on, on earth, earth peace to people of good will. Praise you. We bless, bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We, glorify you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Holy only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Father you <coughs> take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy, mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John, 
Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life, for life is made visible. We have seen it and to testify it, to, to testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him, justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all the peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The other disciple of whom Jesus loved. I like that phrase. The other disciple whom Jesus loved. So today is the feast day of the apostle whom Jesus loved. I think that should be the premise of our relationship with Jesus, our Savior, the one whom we celebrate, who became human like us, except for sin. It is important for us to always come back to that 
basic truth that we are loved first. We think that we love Jesus before we say that we love Jesus. We have to thank Jesus first. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. And that, I think, was the secret of this man called John. He allowed himself to be loved. He was so humble. He shed off all whatever it is that makes him proud and self-sufficient. He made himself vulnerable before the man called Jesus. He allowed himself to be loved. Do we do that, brothers and sisters? Do we allow ourselves to be loved by Jesus? And that is too the secret, secret of the faith of John. That is also the secret why he became first a contemplative. What is a contemplative? A contemplative who has a friendly and deep intimate relationship with Jesus in prayer and who no longer holds on to many other things that supports him. He allows himself to surrender every single detail of his life and therefore Jesus becomes truly present in his life to be able to perceive that God who loves us, that makes us contemplative. But here's another thing. Remember, he's the writer of the book of Revelation. John was also a mystic. Not a mistake, but a mystic. What does a mystic mean? A mystic means that the person already experiences what the human mind cannot perceive and understand that reason can no longer fathom. God uses symbols so that he could speak to us and make himself real, his presence real, so that we can serve others and love others and die for others and be able to resurrect with Jesus together with many other people whom we will attract to this risen Lord called Jesus. He saw and believed because first he allowed himself to be loved. That is the message for all of us. Allow ourselves to be loved no matter how stupid, no matter how, no matter how sinful we are, we are loved. Hermanos y hermanas, somos amados por nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Es el secreto del apóstol y evangelista, se llama Juan. Si somos vulnerables o estamos vulnerables en las manos de nuestro Señor y podemos rechazar las cosas que no pertenecen a nuestro Señor Jesucristo y recibir y recibir su amor, perdón y misericordia a nosotros, podemos ser como el apóstol Juan que fue el buen amigo muy amado por nuestro Señor Dios somos pecadores pero somos amados primeramente Dios somos amados in the name of the Father not the Son the Holy Spirit Amen. We can do nothing by ourselves, and therefore we confidently place our petitions before our loving God, named Jesus. For missionaries and evangelizers, for teachers and preachers, for all who proclaim the gospel with their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For 
government servants and diplomats, especially those who represent your country in peace negotiations, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord will hear our prayer. For those who share technology with developing nations, especially in agriculture and in small businesses, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For responsible, compassionate journalists and broadcasters, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And for the poor, the outcast, the sick, and the dying, for all those who need God's loving presence, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We seek to be loved, dear Jesus. Reveal yourself to us. We know that we are lovable, even though we feel that we are unlovable. Teach us how to forgive ourselves and pick ourselves up because you want us to rise with you. You are our risen Lord and Savior. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands to make, will be compass our bread of life. Blessed be God for us. By the mystery of this water and wine, we may come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bendito sea Señor, Dios del universo. Por este vino, fruto de la vida del trabajo del hombre, que recibimos de generosidad de hora, representamos el ser para nosotros, bebida de salvación. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with this. Pray, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord. And grant that from the banquet of this supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word. Just as from this same source you revealed it to your apostle John, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory is shone upon the eyes of your mind, of our mind, so that as we recognize in him the God made visible, we might be caught up to him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Santo eres en verdad, 
fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la infusión de tu Espíritu de manera que sea para nosotros cuerpo y sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado en su pasión voluntariamente aceptado, tomó pan dándole gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, friends, relatives, and benefactors. And we now pray for Bethlehem and Nehemiah and Bayona. We pray for the soul of Bob Pascoe. Sister Mary John Paul Ossie. Father Joel Pereo, our beloved loved ones, our beloved deceased, and we now pray for them in silence. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, especially those with cancer, those with COVID those undergoing depression and for their healing. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. the rest of the Child Jesus, John the Evangelist, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and your praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, we have a loving Father, and we confidence that is approach the throne of grace as we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And let us not be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not to thy sins, but unto the faith of your church, and graciously grant it peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer one another the same peace. Peace to all in the past. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. That did not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, who loves us so tenderly. He gave up his life for our sake. Blessed are those who hold the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you, that you should enter unto my roof, but when only I say the word, word and my, my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 